Oh dear. Oh, that's reflux. That's not good. Oh, hello, uh, internet. Um, um, it's been a while. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to level with you. Last year, 2019, it was a pretty tough year. A lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that, that, um, kind of real life stuff that, that made it very difficult to get out there and, and make the content that I want to make. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I haven't been putting myself out there as much. I mean, I've been busy. I've been trying to, uh, get stuff sorted been trying to grow the business and, and whatnot. But the one thing I really want to do is the one thing I haven't been able to do, which is, which is make a lot of content. Um, so that's going to change this year. Um, I'm sort of putting some things in place to, uh, try and try and get out there, make more content. Um, cause that's kind of, I enjoy it and I want to do more of that. So that's kind of something I'm, I'm going to, uh, really push for this year. But the sad truth of the matter is the past, I don't know, maybe six months or so, I haven't shot very much at all. I'll be, it's been killing me. It's, it's, I feel like a, a fraud because I'm posting about archery all the time and I, I've been living vicariously through other people. But I've just personally not really been able to to shoot uh, very much. Um, like I said, there's been some stuff going on uh, behind the scenes. I've also had a, a shoulder injury that, that sort of keeps rearing its ugly head. Uh, so I've been receiving treatment for that. So I've had to take it easy, and it, it's 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 uh, it's been a nightmare. Um, uh, you know, I'm not, I don't want a pity party or anything. I'm just just bringing up the speed. Uh, so I've not been able to shoot as much as as I want. Long story short. Uh, so yesterday, um, I went to the club and it's the first time in what felt like forever. I actually went with a bow. Um, I sort of caught up, you know, been catching up with grizzly string stuff. So getting, getting the orders uh, out and stuff. So I thought, you know, I've, I've had a, a busy week of, uh, um, sort of getting caught up. I'm going to go out and I'm going to have a shoot. So I, I packed up my stuff and I went to the, the club and I started shooting. And it didn't go well. I'm going to be honest with you. It didn't go well. Um, I couldn't hit a damn thing. I, I could barely group at you know, 15 meters. It was, it wasn't, it wasn't great. But the thing I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about is sort of managing expectations. And the thing is with archery, it's one of those things you've heard the phrase: if you don't use it, you lose it. I find that to be very true with archery, especially instinctive archery. If you don't keep on it and keep practicing and, and, and keep your eye in, you'll lose it. Um, and I really, really struggled yesterday trying to shoot. Not only was I sh fighting the poundage of the bow, um, I was, uh, my shot wasn't there. It, it will be there. It will get back because I will go again. I'll probably go again this weekend. I'll go again next week. I'll keep shooting and I'll keep going and keep going and keep practicing. Uh, the right kind of practice, good focus, controlled, using the five C's, you know, comfortable, concise, um, consistent, controlled and confident, putting all those things into it. Did you know I'm writing a book, by the way, about that? But anyway, that's another story. Um, but yeah, you know, keep keep on the practice. Um, and it would have... The way it went yesterday, it would have been so easy for me to get disheartened and be like, oh, this is not what's going on. But you've got to manage the expectations. Um, the archer we are in our heads is very, usually very different to the archer we are actually out on the field, actually shooting. So if you haven't shot for a while, don't expect to be really good. You've got to work at it. You've got to put the effort in again and, and build yourself back up and get shooting again and get into a flow and get the mojo back. And that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work at it. It's what I've, it happens all the time. Usually sort of in that transitional period going from sort of winter when you don't actually shoot as much to the spring and summer when you can get out there all the time till, you know, sort of eight, nine o'clock at night and still still enjoy a bit of a daylight and shooting and stuff. So, yeah, I, I always find you're never as good as you are. Uh, at the beginning of, of, of spring as you are sort of at the end of autumn when you're sort of uh, wrapping it up for the for the archery season or, or whatever, or whenever your archery season is. Um, yeah, you're never as good as, as you are at the beginning as you are at the end. Um, and it's just a case of putting in the effort and, uh, and working on things and, and 
remembering I see it a lot and it's so easy to get disheartened with archery and I, it breaks my heart when I see people getting disheartened because the important thing is no matter how badly it's going just never ever forget why you picked up the bow in the first place um, did you pick up the bow because you wanted to be a national champion or a regional champion or even just a club champion? Did you pick it up because you want really good scores? Did you pick it up because you want medals? I'm going to say probably not. The reason why you picked up the bow, and it's probably the same reason I picked up the bow, is because at some point you thought picking up a bow would be a really cool thing to do. And it is. It's really cool. Um, it's enjoyable and it's really good for you to get out there. It's good for your mind, it's good for your body, it's good for your soul. And that's the reason why you pick up the boat, not not results. I mean, some people, maybe, but I'm willing to bet if you're watching this channel and you, you're kind of on the same page as I am, that's not why you pick up the boat. You pick up the boat because it's something you want to do and you feel passionate about. And keep doing it, keep going back and keep going back. And the more you do, the better you get. As long as it's good practice, you're not sort of hammering in bad practicing habits just make sure everything's nice and controlled and it's the shot that you want to make don't let the bow shoot you you shoot the bow but have fun with it have fun with your buddies have fun on your own do what you got to do but it's just a, a little video um i, I wanted to, to put out uh i've got some bow reviews to do i've got uh, a couple of really interesting bows to look at i've got a um a a, a little reflex deflex longbow called a drogan um by Antor Archery. That's really fun. Uh, I'm hoping to get that out soon. I've got a Mandarin Duck Black Hunter to have a little look at. Um, I've got this really unique uh, survival bow uh, from these guys in Australia. It's it's mental. Um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I've got some really interesting stuff with Striker coming up. So this, this, there's a lot of stuff on the back burner that, that's going to come out very soon. Uh, and I just wanted to wish you guys a happy new year. Uh, just share a little bit of, uh, about what's going on uh, with me and thanks for sticking with me. Uh, 2020 is going to be quite uh, busy uh, <laughs> and hopefully very impressive uh, and I hope to, to, to share it with you guys. So thanks a lot for kind of sticking with me. You guys are amazing. Um, so thank you very much. Take care, shoot straight and I'll see you on the internet. Bye bye.